How many times have you been told that you should be a smooth driver on the racetrack? I bet hundreds, if not thousands of times, right? And, I mean, it's absolutely true. Here's why. It, it, a lot of drivers kind of go, well, why do I really need to be that smooth? What, what's so important about that? Really what it comes down to is that you're maximizing the amount of traction the car is going to have. So as you keep the car, as you approach any corner, your goal is to keep the car as balanced or as flat as possible. Every time you change the balance of the car, every time you get weight on it by braking, every time you accelerate to the rear, as you cause weight transfer to the side by, by turning the steering wheel, anytime you do that, you're actually reducing the amount of traction that you have. Tires, when you put more weight on them, gain traction. As you take weight off of those tires, the other on the other side of the car, you're actually reducing the amount of traction. Unfortunately, due to the characteristics of the physics of a tire, when you put more weight here, you gain traction, you're actually going to lose more traction on the tires that you unload than you're going to gain on the tires that you load up. So your overall, your goal is to keep the car as balanced as possible. Now, obviously, you can't keep the car perfectly balanced. Every single time you drive the car, it causes some weight transfer. But the smoother you drive, think about it, if you come into a corner and you jerk the steering wheel like this, it's going to cause a lot of weight transfer. Whereas if you keep your eyes looking way through the turn, keep your eyes up looking way ahead, and you're smoother with the wheel, you're going to cause weight transfer, but not nearly as much. That's why you want to keep the car as smooth and as balanced as possible, is because therefore you're going to have better traction.